So when you're thinking about how to build a successful product line or if you're revisiting your current product line and looking at how you can maybe refine it and make it a little bit better, there are a couple of major steps that I think are important to take into consideration. One, you want to establish a workflow and a plan. Two, you want to create a product line that fits your business. Three, you want to figure out how to price your product line for profitability. And four, you want to create a workable sales environment. And by workable, what I mean is a sales model that fits your lifestyle, your time, and your location. So again, we're not necessarily talking about a sales room or a studio you know, location face-to-face -face with clients. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more later on. So looking at these a little bit closer, establishing your workflow. A couple of things to consider. Before you start developing your new product line or refine, refining the current product line you ask, there are definitely a couple of questions that it's a good idea to ask yourself. Do you want to sell in person or do you want to use another method? Do you plan on pre-selling the client or do you want to upsell them? That's the big factor because some people aren't super comfortable with the sales room and if that's you, then you probably want to try to you know, pre-sell the client on a larger package to start with versus having them sort of have, you know, have a lower entry point that they're going to get into and then in the sales room try to bring them up to the average sale that you want to be. So you need to consider that. You also need to think about if you want to go the structure of packages versus a la carte because there's pros and cons to both and depending on your personality and your style of sales, um, one's probably going to be more successful for you. Um, are you going to ship, deliver, or have your clients pick up their orders? It seems really minor and small and you think it could be an afterthought, but at the same time, you know, if you're considering you know, part of your product line being developed into you know, multi-image wall display canvases that are you know, going to cover giant living room space walls, well, and you're planning on shipping these to your clients, well, that's going to be really tedious, it's going to be really difficult, and also it's probably going to get expensive really fast. So that is actually something that you need to think about when you're considering what products you want to offer. And then what's a realistic turnaround time frame? It's important to ensure that you can keep the everyday operations of your business up and running when you add on a product line, whether it's you know, you're starting brand new with products or you're adding um, a new product to your existing product line. Your business marketing and administrative operations can't all stop because now all of a sudden you have to process an order or send something through to the lab. So you really need to make sure that you consider um, how and if this can fit into your current workflow.